Hello, just a quick live for Tuesday morning. Um, I've recovered from a very busy weekend. So yesterday was a kind of a non day. Quick too much. I'm getting a bit too old for all nighters. Just saying. <laughs> a bit too old for staying up all night. Anyway, especially outside without a fire when it's cold. I got some bits today at the charity shop, so I thought. Let's come and show you what I've got. If anyone's out there, I might wait till someone pops in if you're if you're there. Is there anybody there? <laughs> well, there's eight people looking at me, but no one said hello. <laughs> oh Leanne has hello love. <laughs> yeah, it's that time of the afternoon, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, a couple of bits, a couple of bits of jewellery, most clothes, some shoes and a bag or two. That's, that's kind of where we're in the area we're in. I don't need stock. I'm not desperate for stock, but I like to go out and find things. I get a bit bored if I'm at home and I did a massive load of postage because I was away Saturday and Sunday and yesterday was right off because I was away Sunday night. That's because it was the summer, midsummer solstice and I was up at night not doing anything. So I've had to catch up, <laughs> catch up with myself really. Ooh. Donna, hello Donna, hello Jilly, hello Lainey. I've got a lot of catching up of videos to do and I gather you did a really good one on uh, Saturday night, Lainey. So I've, I've kind of got to work my way back through. <laughs> I haven't quite got there yet. Mm. What did I find? Well, some little bits and pieces. I found, of course, an owl. It's a proper owl gold tone obviously not real gold i mean that just would be silly wouldn't it bright green eyes now it turns out he is actually because when you look at the back he's that's quite i thought oh what's going on there turns out he would have held some nice perfume but he's actually a brooch <laughs> he's cute isn't he nice little nail he's he's avon actually but these are the kind of cute things i don't mind I don't have a problem with Avon if it's cute. But I just thought it was quite strange at the back how it was made. And that's what made me think, oh, look, there's a catch and a hinge. And when you could secrete all sorts of things in your nail, you could make a nice little spell, <laughs> nice little talisman, pop them inside. Anyway, he's a brooch. So, um, and I think he is Avon. I'm pretty sure I saw Avon. But yes, it's writ quite large at the back of his head. It's cute, isn't he? Surprisingly heavy, though. But I liked him. I liked his little green eyes. And I very rarely buy or find good nails. <laughs> so <laughs> I do like the animal things. Uh, he was... He was... Um, a pound. He was a pound. This was the charity shop I went into, hoping to find my bag of goodies. But... Um, but uh, they hadn't made a bag of goodies, so I just bought a couple of odd bits. Now, yes, including Steve. Well, I must, yeah, I'm going to have to see, have to catch up on that. That's definitely next on my list. You weren't desperate for stock, Mandy, but you shelled out. Did I see that right? 200 quid? Wow. I think I've spent about 35 today in total, so <laughs> really not too much. Yeah, and I gather there's a there's a listing challenge going on. I think I think Lex might just hedge. Well, she is a bit of a speed lister, and we're distracting you from listing. Oh God, I'm sorry. No, t turn me off if if I'm getting in your way. But you can list while you're doing several other things and multitasking. Hmm. There we go. Nice little brooch. I quite like the matte contrast, sort of enamel. I wasn't sure if this was a flower, some sort of weird trifid or a starfish, but I think it's probably meant to be a flower. Now, my nail, as an aside, my nail varnish is now starting to come off, but given that it was nearly two weeks ago that I put this on, that's not bad going. This is the um, Green Flash Gel Nails, because I've never done had gel nails in my life. My nails are perfectly strong and long enough. I've never needed it. Um, but I can never keep nail varnish on, mainly because I'm hopeless and mainly because I use my hands as spades and lift things and do all sorts of strange things um, so for me to keep them on for that length of time is quite good going I actually ordered some more because I ordered black when I ordered the basic kit 
and spent out for it because it comes with the UV thing and all that. But I ordered four more colours which are like very dark red, very dark purple, a brighter red and a cherry red. Red and purple basically. And I, I was quite pleased with it. I can do my nails in about 15 minutes I would say because I'm not that speedy. And you have to you know, paint, base coat, put your hand in one minute, top coat, hand in one minute, top coat, hand in one minute. And then the, the actual layer that go protects it all right on the top. So, um, yeah, I managed to do that quite well. I've been very pleased with it. It's not, it's not something for a video, though, really. It's not, not very watchable. But I'm, I'm pleased with Green Flash. Ooh, who shouldn't know you shouldn't be allowed out? £200 in your pocket. <laughs> dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. You've only got 30 left to do for the day. Because mm, you do the big thing where you draft up loads and then you bang on the pictures, which is kind of how I do it. But with jewellery, of course, literally, I mean, if I'm doing jewellery, I can do it ever so fast. Dodo Dixon, I love that name. Hello to everyone too. Hope you are all well. So that was kind of cute. I, yeah, I couldn't see a name on the back, but when I see something that's constructed with this, I'm not showing you very well, with this kind of construction on it, it's going to be, it's got to be a decent brand. But no branding on it, but that was quite nice. And then I can't resist these little ones. That was 50p, by the way, that style. And I paid a pound for this. This is a very small, one of these Celtic, they're all glass, different kinds of glass. I think, it, I mean, it hasn't got the brand Miracle on it, but they, that's what it reminds me of. Cannot see a brand. Cannot see a brand. I mean, that's the back of it. There we go. But that's, I think these are so pretty. And especially if I can get the clasp in. There we go. Really sweet. Really nice things. So, yeah, still picking up bits of jewellery. So it was £2.50 spent there. Then I thought, I know, I'll go to the, the big shop. And now, I did do it a good deal. I actually spent £31. No, £31. But it was 36 in total because I was shown around the back and picked up a couple of bags for £2.50 each. So I'll show you the bags I picked up. This is a place where things are often £2. Or what I've noticed and what I've been a bit caught out in, in my excitement to buy stuff, is sometimes it's not two pounds. I've still done great. I'm not, you know, I'm not mad about that, but it's like, yeah, you've got to pay a bit of attention. Where's it gone? Oh, no. Hang on, there we go, right? Right, this is one of the things I bought. So this effectively cost me two pounds fifty. Oh, it's inside, that's why. <laughs> First thing I got is a Radley bag. Now, they had a couple of bags that said they were Radley and really didn't look like it, but this had the quality feel. It's a bit bashed because it's been, it needs, needs a good old treatment with, um, what have I used that term? Dot Martin's wonderful. So it's a nice big sack kind of bag. You know, it's it's not worn away by any means. It just the leather's a bit dry. It's nice pebble leather. Um, let me show you. There's the inside. I quite like that inside. That's quite cool. Nice leather pocket for a phone. There we are. Nice little rattly there. So it it just felt like the genuine thing. I'm not. I don't do massively well with handbags. I've got to be honest. But when she said, "Oh, you know, we've got lots of handbags. Come and have a look out the back." I'm like, "Yeah, all right then." <laughs> lovely lady that runs it so i was very pleased with that and then i found one of these <laughs> they're weird these bags they're kind of i feel like they're made of nothing i really like but they all bend up cool absolutely cool now this one looks like someone's put a bit of toothpaste on it so i may have to clean but it has the chain which is good and this is Bow 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 Bow. Um, it's in my icky. Now I'm hoping this is a genuine one. Yes, oh yes, we like. Um, the chain itself is incredibly heavy, so that's a nice thing. It's nicely made. It's all in gunmetal. Detachable chain in case you want to use it as a clutch. The hardware 
this looks hardly as if it's got bow it's a murky on it and it's just so cool i mean yeah that really <laughs> i can't stop playing with it it's texturally very old exceedingly light like i said it's got a little thing on there but i think that's probably just something that's landed and can be removed what it is is these things are overlaid over like a netting so that it can all bend like that i i know i've seen i've heard about these somewhere i know i've seen them and i'm hoping that's a nice one so that effectively cost me two pound fifty so i've got my fingers crossed on there <laughs> you like that do you Lex? <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I get far more excited about weird bags like that than the Madley's. Um, but there you go. So that was it on the bag front. And then, obviously not the time of year for a pair of boots, but look at these beasties. These are so cool. I love them. Tassels. Need a bit of a clean up. But they are suede. <laughs> team Lex, yeah, go Team Lex. <laughs> I'd, I'd put my money on Lex if I were a gambling girl. Truly, I would. There's a little wear at the heels, nothing horrific, but I just like the I just like the design. Now, thankfully, they are zip up, so you haven't got to unlace because that'd just be tedious. It's just nicely made. There you go. They're slightly kind of like warm lined inside i don't know the bait the bake baking what are we doing what are we talking about no the make this says here we go another piece of professional camera work please excuse bronx so today <laughs> um yeah i don't know i don't know for sure what what where why when but i just like the style and for two quid, which is what these actually were, two pounds. <laughs> Sticky. Um, and they're a size six. So I thought they're very, um, a bit festively, Def definitely a going out out kind of boot. Need a bit of a clean up, but hey ho. Being fun. So I'm hoping that's a decent brand. <laughs> yeah, crack on, Lex. <laughs> this was two pounds as well. It was only when I looked back at the actual um, receipt that I realised that, yeah, didn't get everything at two pounds. I was doing this up because it looked like a bag otherwise. But it is that. I, again, I'm, you know, uh, Farod or Farol, doesn't always do amazingly. This is Farol Vintage by Journey Farod. The reason I picked it up wasn't so much that label, it's the fact that it's a lovely quality, it is cotton, and it's, this, it's one of these dark floors. And I know a lot of people like a shirt, but this, of course, as you could see from that label, if I'd showed you, double whammy, Liberty Print fabric. I find anything in a Liberty Print has, has a following. There are ladies out there who will dress head to toe in Liberty fabric, ton or lawn or whatever, give them a chance. I don't know what the pattern is. I'm not expert enough in Liberty to do that. But it's a nice shirt, ladies' shirt. So I think for the two pounds I paid for it, that, that should go well. I mean, I'd really like to be selling some of the summer dresses. I've got a sale on. I don't do promotion. You know, I'm not saying do as I do for God's sake, no. But what I tend to do is, I will take uh, find my 500 old, oldest items. And I've taken, I think it's 20% off. 20% off? Yeah, 20% off my oldest items. A lot of them are summer dresses as well, so they, they should sell through. Uh, but I've got a lot of dresses and jackets. And then what I also did was I did a sale of 10% off the next oldest, if you know what I mean. You can go through and select. Um, my sales last week when i had a donut day of the day when i sold absolutely nothing and i've got well over 200 2, listings so i was thinking shit something's, something's going wrong ebay's not liking me um so what i if you run a sale like that you can't actually run another sale for two weeks there has to be a 14 day period between so i try and run at least one one or two sales a month just uh, uh kick things along a bit really 
Um, and I've had some sales on that, so it's starting to work. Hello, Josh. Back from a day out with Carla. Well, we ex did she vlog it? <laughs> Where we get to see. I hope you have fun. Oh, so it's half a day out. Well, yeah, it's a day out, isn't it? Because my day started a bit late. This needs a, a little debobbling. But as we know, if people are fans of their polka dots. And this is Caroline Charles, which is an exceedingly good brand. But this is probably not their highest end item. Just a, a, a thin pulley, a woolly pulley. But seeing as we've seen what the weather can do, what should be one of the hottest times of the year. Floral botanics. Yes, it is. It is a sort of floral. Yeah. Looks. It looks a bit like forget-me-nots. If I were being accurate, we're along with. Uh, don't know what the other ones are. <laughs> along with some other ones, but it does look. It's in quite crisp condition actually, so I'm quite pleased. I'm pleased to get that. So like I say, Caroline Charles itself is an incredibly good brand, but it's a fairly plain jumper, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna sort of be amazing. But that was too quick. I have mentioned this brand before, and they flew out when I finally got them listed. It's a brand called, well, you can probably guess, it's called Loudmouth. Oh my God, what the freaking frick is going on with these? They're golfing trousers. Seriously, they are golfing trousers. They were £2.50, so slightly above the £2 mark. <laughs> but if you see, if you, I mean, loud enough, you can't really mistake. The designs are mad. Um, I think these are stuck into the ladies, actually, because people definitely can't, don't believe that men wear them. But these are men's. And some of them go for good prices, depending on what the print is. I had like a harlequin pattern before. Um, but they did have some grass stains on. I had to sort of wash them twice to get get the marks out. But once I got them actually listed, they flew out. These I don't see there being any problem with because they are very very loud. Um, it's just it's it's an unusual brand. It's not something you're going to find loads of, but not to be sniffed out that one. <laughs> Mad trousers. Right, I'm going to pay for this one. Three pounds. You see, this is it. They're sneaking in. I'm going to have to pay a bit more attention when they're going there next time. I don't mind. I'm still doing well. But it's just... Oh, that's a bit weird. It's just worth being aware of. Now, that's old. I bet there was something on the collar of this. doesn't matter. The reason I'm saying that is there are little poppers all around the top there. They'll come off easily. Not a problem. So we have, I'm doing it up because I won't be able to show you otherwise. I got this because it was quirky. I don't know the brand, Belle Point, um, but it's got poodles all over it. I mean, no, people love doggies. Oh, I can't get the things in there. Maybe that's why they gave it to the charity shop because they couldn't do with the buttons. Go in. <laughs> oh, you didn't need any more stock at the moment, so you're well stocked up, Josh. But was this filler bag or was this something else? Where did you go? I'm getting nosy now. I can't wait for the video. <laughs> Two bags of breakables. Ah. Breakables, yes. As long as they're not broken when you get them, they'll be all right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I look at things now and I'm, I'm, I've got enough breakables here. I'm trying to be very selective about what I pick breakable-wise. Just because... Oh, it, uh, the hassle. Um, I think, I don't know if anyone remembers, I had those three little Murano snails, like little, they were so cute, glass snails, and they went, they went for about 70 something quid for three altogether as a bundle. So I was quite pleased with that. Right, I've got there. Okay. I think this is quite enough as it is without anything extra on the collar. And here we go, you see, poodles and fluffy bubbles. Now I need to do a bit of work on this because it's got fluff that shouldn't be there on it. But fluffy poodles. Very retro. Very retro in style. Not a fancy brand but it's a cotton cardigan and I think someone will probably enjoy that. But like I said, I've got to go over with the cellotape and detach 
the additional fluff from the doggies. Oh dear. Right. What else did we get? Oh yes. Oh yes. Three little bits of jewellery. <laughs> Hashtag wash hands. <laughs> Indeed. Right. Things a bit tangly here. For a pound. Thankfully the jewellery is not too, usually. I got, now this is very much a choker style in my estimation. But, I'm just going to get quite loud. They look like sort of coffee beans or something. Kind of bonus here. Kind of retro in style. It had a nice weight to it. It felt quite nicely made. Um, no brand. It has a los a losba. Oh, excuse the teeth. Still working on it. it. Has a lobster clasp. But there's very little wear to it. I mean, goodness me. I don't have a big neck. I don't have a big neck at all, and that would be quite strangling. Maybe you need it on a longer setting. There we go. But that's a definite choker style. Yeah. Seems on the short side. This I got because it was mad. <laughs> I do that sometimes, just buy something because it's mad, and I kind of think someone's going to have a lot of fun with this. It cost me a pound fifty. Where did the tag because that will just annoy me. Here it, here it comes. We're getting there. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> How mad and holidayish is that? Wouldn't normally... I've had things like this before and they go well. This is almost... Oh, it's just crazy. It is just completely and utterly looped. It's mad. I mean, it, yeah, it feels quite nicely made, though, surprisingly. Very modern. No tarnish at all. Needs a little bit of a clean on the back. But I just thought that was so mad. I thought someone would love that. You did. <laughs> well, there we go. I think sometimes when things are really crazy, and let's say you're having like a tropical party or... A, you know, you need, you want someone to get dressed up in that's just mad. And that is, that's completely and utterly off the wall. So I couldn't resist. I wouldn't normally buy modern jewellery, but sometimes you just have to. <laughs> now these I bought because I love them. I can't wear costume jewellery, which is slightly ironic as I sell it. There we go, get my face out of the way. They're actually like a check glass, all in blue, shades of blue. They fit clippy on earrings, and they weren't missing a stone. And I thought they were rather lovely. Mermaid. <laughs> oh, the coffee bean one. Is it meant to be that short, though, or have I missed a trick? Because, I mean, I'm not, I really do have quite a slim neck. <laughs> and, and that is pushing the boundaries. Let me try again. Maybe I'll just delete one. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Can't wear this one for two minutes. Yeah, no, that works as a as a, as a choker length. Not for me. I wouldn't wear something like that. But um, yeah, coffee bean one. It does remind me of coffee beans. I mean, I can't think what else it would be. <laughs> maybe little shells. Maybe it's meant to be like shells. <laughs> oh, what's happening this evening, Jack? <laughs> stall. There may be buttons meant to be around the corner. Ah, oh, well spotted, double corner. Yes. There must be something that attached onto it. I will have to take these off because clearly they look silly with it, but I think it's enough without all the other stuff. I suspect what it was is there was like a fur, a, a collar made out of this sort of thing. Maybe cuffs made out of it, but I think it'd probably be quite nice without it. Doesn't look like it's missing anything, probably less is more, as they say. Less is more. <laughs> ah, who's calling people mermaids? <laughs> 
I've missed a trick somewhere. I've missed out on a few, a few videos. <laughs> oh, you won the brownish ring tonight, Jack. Well, I shall have to try and have a wash. A wash? Oh, Christ almighty. I'm sorry. Don't stay up all night on Solstice Eve because it won't function <laughs> or speak. <laughs> yeah. The Banished Bin is fun. I really loved it when I did it with Selene. It was such fun. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be great. Oh, Bad Wolf's in. Hello, Susan. So the tiny little earring. So there we go. That was that was the jewellery bit. So there's no more jewellery left if you need to get back to that listing. Have a wash. Oh, I see. She swims over there. Yeah, wow. The fact that the pool's open again that she can is fantastic. Right, I bought this T-shirt because... <laughs> gin in hand. Yes, do. Have a gin in hand. Good idea. Bought this T-shirt for... It was £2 because it was nuts. And I love it. It's just crazy. It's got lots of lovely ladies on it. african -y patterns, very ethnic, styly. Oh, that's so cool. Probably not for me. It's not black. But look at all this pattern on the back. Very patchworky. I just thought that was lovely. And it's obviously new with ta uh, new without tags. Now I couldn't make out the name because it's it's kind of in the in the thing. Let's let's have a look. Where's my magnifying glass? No. Nope. Tell you what, go to the camera, I might be able to see. My eyes are not what they were. It's just crazy, isn't it? I just like crazy things. I get bored of selling things that aren't interesting. It's probably rather dangerous, to be honest. Try selling... Oh, God, no. <laughs> Selfie mode? I don't think so. Right, what does this say? S-A-L-E. Something. Oh, God, no. Nope, maybe it says on the other label. <laughs> if it has another label, it might not. Ah, here we go. Salentia. Here we are. I don't think the brand's anything. Italian touch. Salentia. In size medium. So it's an Italian brand, but I just thought that was so cool. I love that. Probably not going to make me a whole heap of money, but hey ho. This was also two pounds. There's only a couple of things. It was dresses. They're starting to get optimistic on pricing. And again, right. Bought this rather plain thing. It's a golf. Uh, dries a bone. Dries a bone. Decent brand. Dries a bone. Colt. Colt. Yes, Colt. This is XXL. Big golfing. Well, the dull item. But these kind of wind cheaters, especially with our unpredictable weather. Pop over the top thing. Plenty of golfers enjoying their game now, I'm sure. Not me. I've never golfed in my life. I've never done the golf. Oh, Lainey, now. Lainey, I did see. Somebody had a very large standee of a certain chap. <laughs> mm, a certain Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I saw a bit of it, but there we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, yes, the bit where he comes out the water at the start. It's quite iconic, isn't it? I can see why, but to be fair, from what I've seen of the chap whose name escapes me, he seems like a really funny bloke. <laughs> oh dear. Arguments about Marvel films. Right, I think I have sold this dress before and it looks like I paid four pounds for it instead of the usual two. Is he watching? Oh, hello. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Yes, he's caught, caught a lot of people's imaginations, hasn't he? Yeah, this is Peruna, but the main reason I got it is it's summery, it's tie-dye, it's hippie, floaty, you know, the usual, and it's cotton. And in very hot weather, people like wearing cotton rather than man-made fibres. So there we go. Just a sundress. 
and yeah, I might not have picked it up if I realised it was four pounds. I'll still be right. Because you like flat Smith. <laughs> hmm. Flat Smith. Right, okay, now. I got these. What are these, she says. Well, they're actually Geox, which means they're waterproof, which is a good thing. So although they're not particularly exciting, they don't look like they've been much worn. And I think someone will love stomping around in those. Another handy thing, don't have to undo the laces. That's a win-win in my book. Uh, yeah, they're just Geox brand. So, a free feather in the middle of it. Yeah, what size are they? I really should check sizes and things. A 41. A 41 is uh, 8, which is cool. Don't often find shoes in 8 and above, to be fair. Bit of a clean up needed, needed on the sole. A uh, bit of re reattaching the sole, actually. But again, they were two quid, so didn't mind. Just need a little bit of um, repair going on there. Should be alright if they're a fail, they're a fail. But we quite like seven and a half, it says actually. I thought 41 was an eight. But there we go. That may or may not work. If it doesn't, then it's sad they're a fail. Oh, oh I've just seen a bee in here. Right, okay. Can you bear with? Because I need to rescue said bee and pop it outside. Uh, excuse me. One minute, one minute. I've got a magic bee. I should make me put this bee outside. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I disappeared. <laughs> my bee is free. <laughs> I freed my bee. Sorry about that. Right, okay, there's not so much more. Because I know you think I've got work to do. <laughs> Cop an eye full of these. Oh, you saw me at Jumble Cell. Gosh, two years ago. This class. Okay, these were the other thing I paid four pounds for. <laughs> Who knew? Jumble sale. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I want a jumble sale again. I'd love to bump into it at a jumble sale. It'd be such fun. These are mad. Now, they're pretty little thing, and I do not buy pretty little thing as a rule, and, but they're brand new. And they're actually trousers. I mean, they are just effing obscenely mad. <laughs> And they're incredibly long. Well, compared to most trousers that one finds. They're a size 10, so you won't be seeing me in them anytime soon. And they are actually... Well, to be fair, they would fit me. <laughs> Especially if I had a slight shoe on. <laughs> but aren't they gorgeous? I mean, they're, they're so nicely made. I mean, this is all in embroidery. It's not print. It's been... It's, um, it's the fabric. They're absolutely stunning. Can you imagine something that like a 70s retro party in those? Just amazing. Huge wide flares at the bottom. That has got to be, let me see, that is a 13 inch flare at the bottom there. I mean, how could I not? <laughs> they know me in that shop. They know I'm going to buy something. It's flipping mad. But clearly, somebody. Or bought it, ordered it from Pretty Little Thing and then forgot to send it back. <laughs> Stunning, aren't they? And last, the very last thing is so kitsch. Again, it had to be bought. 
Needs a little bit of a clean up. Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> it's It's got tassels. <laughs> I need to get this the right way up to do it justice. It's kind of a strange fabric. Yes, let's get them the right way up. This features the one and only. It's like a throw thing, to be honest. Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he, uh, that's not a good look, is it? I mean, it's not the best picture of him in the world, is it? But someone's been quite creative there. There he is, looking all sultry. <laughs> it's just weird. I mean, I mean, what's all this stuff around the edge? What, what, what's all this design? You can make journey. Jane Rice today in 3D, in real, and she looks 24. Oh, bless. <laughs> so, there we have, oh gosh, the eyes. It's a very strange, it's kind of like a wall hanging, I suppose, because it's not thick enough to be a rug. It's not really throw material. Very strange, like a sort of brush cotton kind of, kind of like one eye, eye eye. So there we have poor Elvis, yes. They didn't do him proud, did they? I paid too quick for that, but I thought, you know, some someone is going to love that <laughs> because it's just so strange. So I bought a lot of strange today. It's a weird, weird, weird set. But the, the thing I like best is that bag. Is that is that scrunchy, scrunchy bag? And I love the trousers, and I like the t-shirt. I just want interesting things in my shop. I get bored of. The same old, same old, I suppose. I just get bored, that's the problem. Yeah, that's my favourite thing. Chubby Elvis. Yes, so, yes, he was getting older, Elvis, there. He kind of like took his eye off the ball and focused on the hamburgers, I believe. But I do like my bye bye. Was it? Bow bow. Bye bye. Bow 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 from Isimaiki. I'm hoping it's genuine. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. That it is genuine so i will do lots of research i love it anyway if it's not i'll keep it <laughs> i mean it's black so hey hey win win so that was my weed haul i thought i'd show you <laughs> it's so space age it's cool how can you annoy somebody for taking a picture of a beautiful bee in their garden i mean Obviously, I'm a fan of bees, very much so. But, but I just saw it on the floor and I don't know if it had come in or whether it had come in with my stuff, which is a bit scary because I could have squashed her. Um, but she's free now. <laughs> probably not really warm enough for them. It's probably why they're all a bit sluggish. We need sunshine again. <laughs> yeah, mind you, your photos are fabulous. I can only one be annoyed. <laughs> Bit of a star photographer. Oh, gosh, right. Well, I think I've wasted enough of your time. A list, valuable listening time, Lex Oliver. So uh, crack on. <laughs> I will see you all later. If I get any more hauls, I will share. Because <laughs> why not? It's all good fun. Take care. Look after yourselves. And don't stay up all night because I did that and it really wasn't a good thing. So touchy bye now. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, yes, I do. Always, every time that catches me out. Bye.